here is somebody offering me to pay to pay for the rest and I'll pay him back I don't have a job I could have easily said yes but the Holy Spirit says no that's not the hand to which God is using to provide for me that same day I find this sermon online by I think it was Michael Todd and I remember him talking about being in a tight place and I remember him quoting this scripture that we are hard-pressed on every side but not crushed, persecuted, not abandoned, struck down, but not destroyed. Yeah, this is me being hard pressed on every side, but I am not crushed. I, am, I may be persecuted, but I am not abandoned. I may be struck down, but I'm not destroyed. So that just <gasps> lifted up my spirit. It just gave me some more energy to go into the next day. Mind you, I have no idea how my rent is going to get paid. And I have rejected this offer. I watch this sermon, I go make some dinner, I was gonna have to go back to school for a lab. So I make dinner, eat, and then I just spent some time with the Lord. That day when I spent some time with the Lord, he brought somebody into my mind and he said, I want you to call this person. I don't want you to ask them for money. I don't want you to sound desperate. I don't want you to be manipulative. I just want you to tell them your story. So. I said okay Lord I'll call them so after that I was gonna go to school I had a lab so I leave home I go to school and then had the lab and then went straight to the library while I was in the library I remembered what the Lord had told me earlier that you need to call this person this person was one lady in church now me and this person we didn't really have a relationship for me to call this person it would have been so crazy it would be so weird for me to call this person and tell them my situation so there i am on a table in the library picked up my phone and called this lady and i'm like hello hi this is judy from church and I just wanted to tell you that the Lord told me to call you and tell you my situation. So I told her the whole story and what this lady says to me is what struck me. She said, Judy, thank you for moving in obedience to God. So I have no idea what the Lord was doing on her side, but she told me the Lord has been working on her in this area and she feels like my call is also meeting it's like what the lord is doing in her life and my call is just at the right time and and so she told me i can't promise you anything but i'm going to seek the lord's will about it this is the day before the rent is due and hang up the call and went back home that night i just prayed to the lord and i went to bed the next morning i woke up and immediately got into prayer i went to school and then i came back home when i was in school i checked my bank account and this lady had sent me enough money for my rent and over over what i needed that money was going to be just enough to top up the rent and get me through the rest of the semester i cried i cried i cried i cried i go back home and the lady's waiting for me at the door she's like do you have the money i'm like yeah 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 yeah. i just need to go withdraw it and she's like matter of fact i'm headed to the bank I said get into my car hop onto my car let's go i think she thought that i was gonna run away but so in the car i'm like i told you god was gonna provide i told you god would provide god provided went to the bank withdrew the money paid the rent and then got back home now later on when i was reminiscing and kind of just thinking back of the journey i asked myself what is the one thing that kept you going through this situation and i realized that it's only the word of god that kept me going that for as long as i kept hearing from god i had enough energy to keep on waiting even though circumstances looked exactly the opposite i remember that season the only thing that was my food my energy my fuel was the word of god and I tell you, 
You think that the circumstances that you're in will take you down? You think that money is what you need? I tell you, God is what you need. The Word of God is food. It will get you through every kind of situation. It will make you wait longer. It will allow you to get through circumstances that you absolutely have no strength, no way, no place to look to. His word and his word alone is what kept me going. And so when I share the word of God on this channel, I know I am giving somebody food that will give them fuel to get through whatever they're going through, no matter what. We are in the middle of a pandemic. Many people have lost their jobs. The money you got from the stimulus is finished. You have no idea where to look. I want to remind you, we are in a space just like the Israelites. Behind them, there were Egyptians running after them. In front of them, there was a sea and nowhere to run to. They were hard pressed on every side. Even if they thought to the end of their thinking, they would not find a solution to that situation. God had to come in. God made a way in the midst of a sea. When we run out of option, God still has options. When we have no way, God makes a way. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it blesses you. Testify to your brothers and sisters. Tell of your stories. And until next time, goodbye.